Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at first hop redundancy. Specifically with first hop redundancy, we're going to be taking a look at troubleshooting first hop redundancy issues. So this is first hop redundancy troubleshooting lab one. So what we're going to be given is a couple of tasks, our trouble tickets, and we're going to ask be asked to fix the problems that are being presented to us. So let's just take a look at the network diagram at first. What I need to do is change this. This is changed to EIGRP AS1. So we have essentially three routers in this lab, router 2, router 3, router 4, and then we also have a router that's emulating a host. So this is host 1. And then we have host 1, R2, and R3 are connected to Ethernet link via switch 1. Again, this is all the same VLAN. Then router 2 and router 4 are connected together via 192.168.24.0. Again, if we look at router 4, that's serial 00 on R4 and serial 00 on R2. On R3, we have a connection between R3 and R4, which is 192.168.34.0 slash 24. R3 is using its serial 00 and R4 is using serial 01 to connect to router 3. We have a loopback 0 interface off of router 4 which is 4.4.4.0 slash 24. And we can also see from our diagram that the link between router 2 and router 4 is a 45 meg connection and the link between router 3 and router 4 is a 1.5 meg connection. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first trouble ticket, see if we can learn some information on what is going on. Again, this is first hop redundancy troubleshooting lab one. Our first trouble ticket says that your system administrator reports that when the link between R2 and R4 goes down, traffic from host one is still attempting to use R2 as the default gateway. Configure the network so that when the link between R2 and R4 goes down, that all traffic goes directly through R3. So it appears as though we might have some... So it appears as though, again, we, we could be looking at some suboptimal routing going on right now with our network. Again, as the ticket says, that the link between R2 and R4, again, this is the 45 meg link, Again, this is the preferred link in this network. When this ne this goes down, traffic from host 1 is still going to R2. So if we read it again, host 1 is still attempting to use R2 as the default gateway. Configure the network so that when the link between R2 and R4 goes down, that all traffic goes directly through R3. So when this happens, when this link goes down between R2 and R4, all the traffic should be going through R3. So let's go ahead and take a look at our, our devices. Let's look at host 1 first and just see what is going on on host 1. The first thing we want to do is just make sure if we do a show IP route, we can see. That